Bobsled is an event where engineering meets biology. A key element of the race is the start, and so it's important to get a good, quick first step so that they can gain speed in the first 50 meters of the track. That helps accelerate the bobsled as a system and accelerate the athletes and get them up to speed so they can quickly hop into the sled and be on their way. So what you'll find on a bobsled team is many of the athletes participating actually have a track and field background. They're very proficient in accelerating their body from rest, and that's essential for a successful performance in the bobsled. Caroline's going to demonstrate a sprint start as a track and field athlete might do. It's a little different than the sprint start in a bobsled in that their hands are going to be positioned on the sled itself. But the, the basic principles are pretty much the same. So as part of the research in the USC Biomechanics Research Lab, we've studied the sprint starts in athletes in track and field. And the doctoral work of Dr. Kathleen Sand was really instrumental in understanding how position of the feet in that very first step helps accelerate the body in the direction of travel. Today, we'll be looking at how to position her foot relative to her center mass so she can have a quick rate of force production. If we look at the sprint start, we can see how the foot placement relative to the center mass can shift. So by getting the foot behind the center of mass, we can see that the athlete is able to generate the force very quickly. You can see when she places her foot, it's behind her center of mass, and that allows her to generate force down the track in the direction of travel. If the foot's a little more in front of the center mass, what happens is that they have to wait to push, and by waiting to push, they're not able to get up to speed as fast. And when every second counts, this is a really important technique 